so hi everyone meta has released llama 3.1 which has been released into three versions that is 7 billion 80 billion and 405 billion parameters making it meta's largest open source ai model ever talking about the performance uh, as claimed it has already beaten gpt4 and claude 3.5 on various tasks more importantly it supports multilingual support the context length has been increased to 128k tokens and the most important part they have given a special priority to safety guardrails and have installed tools like llama guard 3 so let's test it out on your local system the best part is it is free of cost it is open sourced so everyone can use it so in this particular tutorial i will be showing you how you can load llama 3.1 in your local system right now i'm using google collab you can use it there as well so first of all you need to pip install transformers once you have pip installed transformers do remember to install the upgraded version so if you have already installed transformers you need to upgrade it pass your hugging face read token as hf token in the environment variable so how to create it that i have covered already in my previous video once done this is the particular model id that i'm loading so i'm loading the 8 billion the smallest model for now that is 8b hyphen instruct meta llama hyphen 3.1 hyphen 8b as you can see here if you have a better hardware you can go with the higher models the rest of the code remains almost the same as for other hugging face models you need to create a transformers dot pipeline text generation pass the model id so here i am passing the b float as 16 and the device map is auto because i'm using t4 gpu as you can see you need to change your runtime as well do remember that else it will take a long time once you are done it's very easy to use we would be using the chat interface so if you have used uh, langs it's very similar to that you need to pass the role that is system and content so basically now the lm would enact in the same way so you are a pirate chatbot who always responds in a pirate speak this is the default example that is given role user content who are you so this is basically the prompt that would be going in uh, and this is the system message that is passed to the lm so basically now using the system message it would be acting accordingly on the input prompt the llm now you need to create the pipeline object messages this is the particular prompt template that we have created output and then output zero generated text and the last message so here you can see that the model will get started loading once you start executing it it will take some time and here you can see that the final output role assistant content uh yeah land lover yeah looking for introduction so here you can see that it has spoken in a pirate language now let's test it out on some mathematical problem so you are a maths teacher what is 2.34 into 7.89 i asked the question so eventually it is able to answer that the answer is 18.4536 let's check it out 2.34 into 7.89 because LLMs are pretty bad with mathematics and especially with decimal numbers. So here you can see that it is missing out on the second place in decimal. So it is still pretty good, I would say. Uh, but yeah, some, imp some improvement can be done, but still the results are fine. I think acceptable. So it is able to almost correctly estimate the answer to the first decimal place. So that's pretty good. And the last part, I'm trying to use it as a language translator. And I've given it a message like, hey, this is Mehul. How can I help you? And here you can see that uh, the assistant is replying in Hindi. Namaste Mehul ji, I ke liye hun. Main ek peshawar se Hindi And all that stuff. So this is Hindi. So here you can see that we have tested the Lama 8B instruct model on three different problems. One is like translating into pirate language. The other is mathematics. Another is language translation. And it looks flawless to me. I think in terms of the 8B models, 8 billion models that I've tested so far, this looks uh, very much interesting, very useful. And do try it out the bigger versions as well if you have a better hardware and let me know how you feel about it. Thank you so much.